Hello and welcome to Lesson 6, our final lesson of life in ancient Greece. Today, we will be exploring various forms of ancient Greek entertainment as well as its influence on our modern notions of fun, pleasure, and leisure. Entertainment has always been a highly valued and universal aspect of the human experience. It provides a sense of enjoyment, camaraderie, and relaxation. Entertainment in its many forms, is as popular today as it was thousands of years ago. Dinner parties, known as symposiums, and drinking games, such as katabos, were common pastimes in ancient Greece. Men would regularly host banquets to socialize with their companions while lying on their sides and being served by the house's servants. Women's roles at such dinner parties was to dance and entertain the men as they ate and drank wine. Drinking games were a source of amusement for the ancient Greeks. Katabos, the oldest recorded drinking game, consisted of chugging contests and horseshoe competitions. This messy game involved flinging wine sediment from the bottom of the jugs at one another from across the room. Such rituals were rumored to have kept such dinner parties full of fun, humorous, and unexpected surprises. Political gathering places also served as venues for socialization in ancient Greece. The two most well-known political forums were the Nyx and the Agora. These popular spots served as a house for assemblies. These were general meeting places used for the purpose of open talks, political speeches, and socializing with others. If you're interested in learning more about such political forums, we explore them in greater detail within Lesson 5. While dinner parties and political meeting places provided lively entertainment for the ancient Greeks, athletic endeavors also served as a vital form of recreation. Athletics in ancient Greece have been credited with setting precedents for many of today's sporting events. Long jumps, Track and field and equestrian competitions are among a few of the competitive parallels that can be drawn between then and now. Ancient Greeks participated in and watched many different athletic competitions. They loved playing contact sports and also enjoyed being a spectator of such games. Some of the most popular sports in ancient Greece were boxing, wrestling, chariot racing, foot racing, marathon running, and discus throwing. Both men and women of ancient Greece cheered excitedly for these sporting events. During foot races, discus throwing, and long jump competitions, crowds of spectators would run alongside the athletes to watch their performances. The athletes took great pride in training and in representing their respective city-states. In addition to athletic endeavors, the people of ancient Greece also found immense pleasure in the performing arts of the theater. Ancient Greek theater flourished between the years 550 BC and 220 BC. Two of the most famous theater genres were tragedy and comedy. While the precise origin of the genre of tragedy in ancient Greece is debated among scholars, many believe it can be traced to a festival honoring the god Dionysus. As such, Dionysus became known as the god of the theater. Tragedies often dealt with the themes of love hubris, death, and loss. The protagonist in a tragedy would commit a crime or horrible act with no knowledge of the consequences. Interestingly, the exact origins of comedies was lost to prehistory, but evidence of its earliest existence is provided by the pictures painted on the sides of ancient Greek pottery. These pictures depict characters. Most comedies made fun of the common man. The Theatron was a massive seating area built into a hill where citizens would gather to enjoy the theatrical production. Since the seats were made from wood, people would bring cushions and pillows to make themselves more comfortable for the duration of the play. Music was another popular form of entertainment in ancient Greece. Many Greek men were instructed and trained to sing and perform choral dances and music. 
Music was infused into everyday life, whether it was performing worship at temples to gods and goddesses and or being performed by the chorus in the theaters. Men and women would often entertain themselves with simple hymns and melodies. Music was just as important in ancient times as it is within our modern culture. Ancient Greeks emphasized the importance of theater, drama, and music. However, they were also focused on creating art. Ancient Greek art portrayed stories and showed human accomplishments. Art would be created on pots, bowls, cups, jugs, walls, ceilings, and even terracotta plaques. Art was enjoyable to create and fun to admire thousands of years ago, just as it is today. Entertainment in ancient Greece was a crucial and lovely part of their civilization and culture. The ancient Greeks influenced many forms of our modern entertainment and left a rich, creative, and lasting mark on future world civilizations. Thank you so much for watching Lesson 6, The Final Lesson of Life in Ancient Greece.